My last video showed you how to make a 3D printed scale model look life-size, and today I wanna to show you how to make life-size objects look like scale models. I think a lot of us are familiar with tilt shift filters in apps like Instagram and Snapseed, but the technique was originally developed for film photography like 50 years ago. Tilt shift lenses do two things, they tilt and they shift. I know, it's shocking. But these small changes make a big impact by changing the angle of the plane between the lens to the camera's sensor. Normally when you're using your camera, your sensor and your lens are parallel to one another on the same plane. But with a tilt shift lens, the ability to shift and tilt the lens changes the entire plane of focus, which adds in a whole lot of crazy different effects. There are a lot of practical instances where a tilt shift lens can come in handy. For example, if you take a lot of architectural photos, you could stand at the base of a building and take a photo up at the building, but instead of having the lines converge and get really funky, the tilt shift lens can actually bend the lines out and make things look much more natural. Tilt shift lenses also let you become extremely selective with your plane of focus, which lets you really direct the viewer's attention to a particular spot of an image. And you can do some pretty unique effects like giving the appearance of filming or taking a photo directly in front of a mirror without the camera being in the shot. In this instance, the camera was positioned just outside of the mirror's view and the lens was shifted to give you the perspective of looking directly into the mirror. It's pretty cool. Now, of course, the most commonly seen use of tilt shift photography is using the altered plane of focus to affect the scale of your subject. When photographed from a distance, and especially from a higher angle, people, buildings, landscapes, even entire towns can take on the appearance of a scale model diorama. Where tilt shift photography takes on a whole new dynamic beyond still photography is the fact that most cameras today shoot photos and video. Using the tilt shift effect in video adds an entire new layer of creative options to your work. And even though you definitely don't want to overuse it, it's a really cool tool to have in your bag at the ready. Now, I'm not suggesting that you run out and spend all your hard-earned money on a tilt shift lens right now, but I think it is pretty cool, since most of us are familiar with this in software filters, to see where the technique actually originated and how it can be used to achieve specific creative results. In all honesty, the tilt shift effect in a lot of software filters is really, really good, so there's no real reason not to just use your phone, take a photo, play around with the tilt shift effect and shrink your world down to look like a scale model or achieve whatever specific look you're going for and then be really happy with it. It's an awesome tool to use. And ultimately, learning to use a traditional tilt shift lens will just help build your skills as a photographer or a filmmaker. And if that's something that you're interested in or serious about, then I don't think you should turn down any opportunity to learn more about it. And finally, it's also just fun. And sometimes it's fun to just do fun things that are fun.